Good morning and happy Sunday mornings with Mel. It is July 4th week. It's July 2nd, but for those of you that get a day off this week, good for you. Last night, actually all weekend, the fireworks have been going even out here in the middle of nowhere where I live. And it's just been nice. There's something about fireworks that just take you back to your childhood. I don't know. It's not something that we did that often, but it is a wonderful, just a sight to, sight to see. Going to sing a few patriotic songs this morning. And the first one is... My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. You know, this is where we celebrate our independence. It's where we celebrate our freedom. And I was thinking about freedom this week. And, you know, I think freedom is, we think that freedom is, we can do whatever we want. And really, freedom is the ability to do what you were made to do without anybody holding you back. And that was the freedom that our forefathers wanted, was the ability to worship and not be taxed and so many other things, but the freedom to worship without interference. So I hope you have the opportunity to celebrate with family either this weekend, on Tuesday, but get out there and celebrate. Have a hot dog or two, a hamburger or two. And just enjoy the beautiful weather. July is generally our most desirable weather of the summer. Um, except we will have probably a lot of rain. But my garden needs it. My garden's beautiful this year. So, speaking of beautiful. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains' majesty, above thy fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Summer's a time, I always tell people, I don't go anywhere in the summer because it's the one time of the year. It's the one season of the year you definitely want to be in Ohio. With the lake, there's just so much to offer here in Northern Ohio. This Sunday, I am speaking about what banner do you wave? You know, when we grow up, it's pretty much who you are, your family, your family name. And then you go to school and you become, for my, in my case, I became a Firelands Falcon. And then I became a Liberty Flame and... So many times when we are introducing ourselves to people, we wave our banners. And for me, it was, I was a vice president of a bank. And then I became a chaplain and I was a dairy farmer too, first. And then now I'm a funeral director apprentice at Toff Funeral Home. But those are the banners that we wave and yet... One of the banners that our forefathers were wanting to wave was their freedom of religion. And so I hope you have the opportunity today to go to a house of worship and worship in the way that we have the freedom to do. Last song I'm going to sing is our national anthem. 
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. So, thank you for joining me this morning. Just a small note the flag behind me has had many purposes but in the late 70s our firelands high school choir um, went to washington dc and we sang um, at the capitol and this was the flag that was flown over the united states capitol building that day we got it the school had it and somehow in the last 10 years maybe more like 15 um, it was given to me because the school didn't know what to do with it. So it went to hospice and it was draped over every veteran that died for a period of probably about seven years up to COVID. Um, it's a little worn and beaded, but it's been around since 1978. So it's my honor to hold that and that's what's behind me, usually on patriotic holidays. If you're looking for a place to worship, 10 o'clock today, St. John's United Church of Christ, where no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you are always welcome to come join us. 204 Leonard Street in South Amherst, just south of 113, 10 o'clock. Hope to see you some Sunday. God bless you. God bless America.